fine with Why, me. did somebody say something? <laughs> <laughs> Hi all, well here we are again. Got my lovely yak here. The Carbon Z Yak 54. An absolute brilliant plane. I love mine. I fly it all the time. It's just a great plane to fly. When you get advanced enough that you can fly one of these, it's um, well worth getting one and having a fly. Anyway, wouldn't it be nice to have a small one in the UMX size so that we could just pop down the park when the wind's down a little bit? Fly any time. E-Flight have come to the uh, party and they've just released the new UMX Yak 54 180 with AS3X and I must say it looks very nice indeed, very nice. Let's get the box open and have a close look at it. Neatly packed in the box, one thing I noticed straight away with it, the wheels are over here. This is pretty low in here, I don't think you're going to be able to fit it in with the wheels on but they look like they just then push and pull in and out so they'll come in and out really easy. Uh, I'll get all this gear out of the box, let's have a look. We've got the bind and fly version here, that's how it comes. As always, the manual's on the bottom of the box. So, here's what we get. A plane that looks very familiar, very familiar to me. Got the huge ailerons here, got huge ailerons there. Let's see what you get in the pack. You get your 2S charger. It comes with the battery connectors. So you'll need to connect these onto a battery unless you've got something of your own. It comes with the landing gear. Looks like it just springs in. Let's put them in straight away. Oh, easy. That's going to be no problem in and out. So packing it away in the box is going to be no problem at all. That looks uh, easy, doesn't it? We get some side force generators. That'll be interesting to see what you can do with them. And there's an all new battery. It's a, your 2S, 150 milliamp, but 45C. They've increased the C rating, so I'm expecting this yak to really fly nice. If it's going to be like its big brother, it's going to want that extra C rating because you're going to be using that power. Okay, let's have a close up look at this plane. It looks really nice. First thing you'll notice straight away, it's missing a spinner. Now, I reckon I know why they've left that spinner off. Because once that spinner's out of balance, it's knocked, it's anything. It's, even when it's stuck on, it's hard to balance it. And it uh, doesn't give you a good efficiency. So I reckon they've just left it off this time. So that you've got an easy on and off prop for you guys that like changing the props. Plus, it's going to keep this prop balanced better. I reckon you're going to notice that. The wheel pants, well, let's face it, as soon as we land on grass, they just break off anyway, so let's not put them on. As you can see there, a huge hole at the front, so plenty of room for air. That's going to get lots of cooling in there. Look at that tail, you've got the steerable wheel, and the foam is that nice, it's thick. This is thick. It's got those little grooves along there, like the Vision Air. I'm not sure what you call them, but uh, does something to the air coming over the wing. So they've thought about this one. It's uh, well thought out. It's a QQ plane again. He's worked on it. He's uh, a genius for sure. And now, let's get to the underneath. Tail first. Look at that. They've put some carbon rod in there. You've got your carbon rod going across the actual elevator. And then you've got some ties to hold this rear horizontal. So this is serious machine, this. Now the wings, look at this. They've uh, sort of done like the Carbon Z, like the big yak, where it's got a spar, big spar, coming right through here. They've hollowed it out and they've put a film over it. It's like the stuff on the night vapour. It's just that thin plastic that goes over it, so it's lightweight. You've got your servos sunk well into the wings. They're not going to get in the way of the airflow at all. Look at that. That is really nice. Now, where does the battery go? Well, look at this. 
the whole hatch comes off. A huge area for your centre of gravity. When you start off, maybe have it up the front a little bit, and as you get better, or if you want that more 3D, you move your battery down to the back. There's your board with your IS3X. Your servos are in here. There's one right in there. And there's one here. There's your board. I say, look at that room. Look at that. Just putting the ruler on it, you've got 80. You've got 80 mil of movement there. That is impressive. It's the 3000 brushless motor. So this one's got plenty of power. I'm really looking forward to getting out. Two magnets up the front to hold it. That hatch just flops in there and locks in. So you can see it just locks in really nice. Okay, time to get the DX8 out now and we'll bind it to the DX8. We'll have a listen to the motor, see how much movement we've got in them surfaces. I'm looking forward to flying this one. Right, I've bound it to my DX8. I'm not going to show you how to bind it because if you don't know how to bind, uh, one of these planes, you shouldn't be buying one of these planes because this is a plane for the more advanced flyer. It's not a beginner's plane. It's going to fly nice, but I'm sure it's not a beginner's plane. Let's have a look at the surface movement and see what we've got. The rudder. This is on low rates. High rates. Uh, quite a bit of movement there. Elevator. Low rates, high rates, lots of movement. Aurons, low rates, high rates. Yeah, there's a lot of movement there. And now, what does that motor sound like? Oh. Crisp as they always do. Wow, that's half throttle. That's full. From nothing to full throttle, no worries. I can feel that in my hand pulling. You can hear the AS3X now that we've activated it by using the throttle. Well, what a surprise for me, Flight A. The Yak 54 180. And uh, I'm sure this is going to be a really nice plane. And I'd just like to thank Mike for um, supplying me this beautiful plane again. Without his help from OMP there, we uh, wouldn't be able to bring you these videos straight away. And uh, thanks, Mike. Okay, that's it for now. So uh, thanks for watching. And I can't wait to get out and fly this. Weekend's coming up. Corinne's available. Ah, I'm loving it. Catch you all soon. Bye.